everybody, it's me, Kelly. Welcome to my live show today. Uh, I want to thank everybody for coming. I don't know. I have, oh, I got a lot of people today. I really didn't think I was going to get many at all. But I want to welcome all of you and thank all of you from the bottom of my heart. Uh, I want to apologize ahead of time as um, I'm not feeling that great, but um, I'm going to give you the best show that I can. So bear with me. It's just going to be kind of, um, it's going to be a mixed media show. And to show you if you don't have stamps or things at home, just a few tricks and things that um, I do um, that you don't have to have a die cut machine for. And um, I just want to thank you guys and uh, welcome you. And I'm so excited. Yeah, some people do not get ads. Some people do. Um, I know in the replays on YouTube, because uh, I upload this to YouTube when it's done, and on U on Ustream, there are no ads. Um, I don't know why some people during the live show get ads and some don't. Um, if you do get an ad and then I disappear, um, refresh, and then I'll come back up. If you get an ad and um, it, it's just black, like all of a sudden your screen turns black for a few seconds, um, refresh, it should come back up. Uh, the ad, for whatever reason, is not playing on your system. Um, Laura, Winter Prism, just put in a link. I did allow links first thing. She put in a link to Ustream for viewing and troubleshooting steps. So that could help you. And um, I want to thank everybody like Tracy and Pixie and um, I don't know who else, who else is here that hasn't been um, Tiff Tiff. iPads um, are hard to get like the flow of how to get onto the Ustream. Um, if you go into the Ustream troubleshooting thing also, it'll tell you about the iPad. Uh, Tiff says that she's on the iPad and never gets any things. Um, any commercials? Um, <laughs> thank you, Christy. Um, she said she loves being here live with Kelly Donovan. You see all this? Yeah, that's right. That's what you're here with live. And um, so you can always go to the troubleshooting thing, but iPad, I know, has some, um, like, there's like a different way to get in the chat. I see that Pixie got into the chat, so. Um, I don't know what she did, so if she hears me and can just say kind of what she did to get in the chat with an iPad or Tiff, if you could say how you, I don't think you've ever had problems, Tiff, getting in here with your iPad. I don't know. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to bring the camera down. I'm very dramatic. Veronica, I don't know the Elvis Costello song. I know he sang one, but I don't like Elvis Costello, so I wouldn't know. But this is my Veronica song. Veronica, see the hand movement? See the hand movement? Veronica, that's right. Y'all just don't get all craft stuff, all right? You get all this and some singing. I'm taking the camera down. And don't pay a mind to my kitty cat with the bell. All right, all right. Okay, there's a there's a Ustream app. Okay, so people for iPad or on your phone, there's an I there's a Ustream app. And Okay, thank you Trace. I will. I will. I might sing it to you, but you will hear me need the help, Tracy. Thank you. Um I don't know how you get smileys on there. Girl, please, I can sing the whole way. Ain't nobody, I ain't fronting, I'm, this is it, right? I don't wear a shirt with a cat with a bell just because, all right? Just because it was a Christmas gift and I like cats and I, I'm in my pajamas. That's not why. It's because I'm all that. I love the chill. <laughs> Singing that song, you tell me that all the time, Veronica, too. <laughs> All right, bringing the camera down. Don't mind anything you see that you might be admiring and shouldn't see, okay? All right. Okay. Here we are. Here we are. Here we are. Gotta get the camera so I can see everything. 
All right, we're just gonna kind of start here and then kind of maneuver, maneuver. All right. Okay. All right. <laughs> Leave your kitties alone. Hear the bell? Hello, kitty kitties. Yep. And I'm not gonna say what that rhymes with because that's a little. I don't want no kids watching. Okay, so this is a pretty big canvas. And first, I want to show you guys a few things as far as Mixkey Media goes. And then I'm going to show you a few things um, that goes with Mix Media. But I'm going, to put, I'm going to put this right here so nothing happens. Because you guys will go in and out. And not in a good way, in and out. That's all I'm saying. All right. So. I don't think we need the cat hair because the cat loves to be up here and I don't like it. I've told you this before. I've told, made it, probably mentioned this on my, um, all right, can we just, can we just cooperate here, please? Please, please. You might have to see my red deliciousness stomach. All right. If you go to Michael's, God, this camera, can I just not cooperate? You know, I'm OCD. Okay. If you go, to, I know a lot of you are in the UK or not in the States, but I don't mean to do this. However, um, if you go to Michael's or AC Moore, um, I think it's Michael's. If you go and in the front, like when you first walk in to your left hand side, when you walk in, they, it, my Michael's, and I know many other Michael's do this, and I have like four Michael's around me, um, they have this big like basket thing. And in the basket thing are things that like maybe um, people have returned and it's ripped or scrap of paper or paint or it could be anything that's in the store. I got this. It was $6.99. I got it for $1.75 and this is why. Now it's still connected, but apparently you know how well if, if you buy scrap of paper like I do, you know these don't stick, these don't stay well together. So this must, somebody must have been looking at this and it came apart. So I got this for $1.75 and then on that day, it happened to be a coupon of 20% off everything. So I got 20% off $1.75. This was twelve twenty six thirteen. dollars Anyway, I guess they got to do that for it. And it sold as, as is, all sales are final. I'm not returning it. I did look through it to make sure that no man took it in the bathroom and did anything to it. But um, I get freaked out. Those are my OCD things. But you get all these great, and the reason, jeez, oh, Pete's, my God, they give it to you for a discount, but they tape it like it's gold. Anyway, <laughs> sorry, got a little mad. I like these because they're, you can see that they're squares. You know, they're a little smaller than an ATC, I believe. But I like them because, you know, you can cut them out and use them as different backgrounds. They're double-sided, which sometimes I hate, but for $1.75, I will love it. Now, you can see, like, this piece I could put on an ATC as a background and cut, you know, off the extra. But these are great. So, $1.75, I got these Mod Podge things. And not only that, Mod Podge sells things that go with this. This is called vintage wallpaper. This is what it is. But these are podgeable, podgeable papers by Plaid. I've looked at these a thousand times. Will not buy them. <laughs> you want to see them again, Pix? Let me just show you. Anyway, um, I could take you into the other room with the camera and show you all the... Anyway. Um, so I've looked at these a million times and I won't buy... I will not pay $7 for these because I can buy a big pad of um, regular scrap of paper when it's on sale, you know what I mean, or a coupon and get a lot more and pay a couple bucks more than this, but get tons more. Anyway, so these are always great for you guys to look at when you walk into Michael's and uh, AC Moore might, I, I know Michael's has, I, I spend hours there, I know Annie does too, um, in their clearance aisle. Michael's has a clearance aisle. Do all of you know about the clearance aisle? Isn't it Mod Podge? What, what do people say? Mod Podge? Alan! He's my secret crush. Alan, Alan, you're my 
my secret call, Shallon. I'm singing into the paint bottle for you, Alan. There we go. He's another UKer. I get some of his slang words because I have me some UK friends who I talk to. So some words I know. Some other words he says I don't know. I laugh. But I laugh very ha 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 like that. And I move my head back, but you can't see. Anyway, let's continue. Hello, Alan. <laughs> Mod Podge. Okay, so anyway, <laughs> look at the beautiful papers. Okay, so anyway, always when you go into your Michaels, um, especially Michaels, look for your clearance aisle. It's normally over where like the fake flowers and all are. And always look when you walk in at the front door because you will find paints and um, sometimes like, you know those, um, which I'm gonna do a video with my um, doctor, my Doc Martens. Anyway, um, but you know, like when you um, buy like a pack of paints or a pack of inks or whatever, and like the cellophane on it kind of like breaks open, they put those in there and mark them wicked down. So you can get really, really great buys. And uh, yes, it's Alan. Alan, A, -A W S Crafting. I'm reading. I'm sorry. Vanessa, I don't know why you keep buffering. Nope. Is anybody else buffering? Does anybody have any idea how to help Vanessa? I know. Alan knows. Pixie. And Pixie, I've sent you things that nobody else got in the UK. And I'm still searching, child. I'm still searching for that one thing. Oh, it is, Michelle? Well, then, Michelle, you're coming. Michelle, my girl, Michelle's here. Michelle, Michelle, Michelle. Can you see the dancing? Uh, the shoulders are good. Michelle, you can't really see except my fat belly when I lean over. Anyway. Yeah, it has to be her connection because every time she comes on, she buffers. I feel bad. Okay, anyway, let's continue on. Okay, so now I got these on the clearance at um michael's no i didn't get these at michael's you know where i got these i got these at tuesday morning i don't know if y'all have tuesday mornings by you but i was so excited and my husband and daughter we were going thrifting they made me go thrifting and leave which i actually enjoy my daughter makes me leave the house which you know i don't like to leave the house and she took me thrifting which i absolutely am obsessed with because i bought like thrifting things and i'm going to do like um assemblage pieces but anyway we we went out to the tuesday morning that we know of we've never been there i was so excited i was almost peeing my pants in the car i should have worn the pens we get there all of a sudden on the walls it says going on a business sale so let's just say i wasn't too happy however i went in and we went in we all searched we bought some stuff there because they had some good stuff they had some craft stuff left so this was 349 and then i got another 20 percent off and this is the Industrial Chic by Susan Lenart Kasmer, and I picked up two pages, two things of it. So what I'm going to start today is my background. And I have a little pot of, um, uh, this is Jessa, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> Why was I opening that? Let me just excuse my bella, please. Okay, slid back. Almost lost it. Oh, God, I got to really blow, like, I got to blow my <laughs> i'm so sorry i gotta blow off all right oh god medicine does things let's just see what comes in these i don't know have you guys ever bought these tuesday morning is a store that is like a discount it's like a walmart but it's a step up and they have like a nice little craft section which i bought i bought some really cool um crafty things there i don't exactly know what it was i bought crafty I bought something craft, something's crafty. I don't know, but this was one. So let's just pretend like we're there. Now, this is what comes in it. I mean, look, it's like a fake burn. And and like, like somebody old wrote on this like years ago, and then this was on there. So it's like really cool, like papers, you know what I mean? And then you get like, 
which things I love, take the ribbon off because I saved that, you get this tissue paper that they think, oh, I'm just going to put everything on tissue paper. They will throw the tissue paper away. They don't know Kelly Donovan. Kelly Donovan uses everything because I am a whore. And then you get like this, like papers and stuff like that. So I'm going to put a few of these aside as I'm going to do a giveaway at the end. I don't know. Annie, do me a favor. Do I have guests? Because I can't see. I don't know why. I don't think I have guests. Oh my God, I think my first show without guests. Usually I have like 12 guests. Okay, so I, you know, what I do is I also mail to the UK when I do my giveaways and I um, like to maybe give a few little things. Maybe you don't have these in, in the UK. So I'm going to take some interesting pieces and then I will have other scrapbook paper. Look at that. I will have other scrap of paper and other things to, in my giveaway. All right? Okay. Oh, God. Knocking everything over is not a good start. I'm, but look how cute. Well, it's Tim Holtz. What do you want? Let's not get into my Tim Holtz uh, rant, okay? We all know about Tim Holtz and me. Have I met the man? No. But look how cute papers are. If I met the man, would I tell him how I felt? Oh, yes. Oh, I'm going to throw one of these little ones in here, too. I will throw the one that looks like it's kind of burnt and torn on the bottom, because I think that is a very cute. And I will use these over here. I'm trying to separate, trying to separate. I'll use this. This is a piece. They're just cute. I mean, they're like, honestly, yeah, Elaine, I have so many old papers and music papers. Um, I'm trying to. But, you know, when I can get it cheap, I'm going to get it. Because I can't, I'm not going to glue all these together to make them look like they're papers. This one has, is that a fly? Or is that the reproductive system? I don't exactly know what that is. I don't know. Okay. Here we start. Let's hope I can open my glue. I can. Life is good. Let me grab a thing. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to... Now, here's the thing. Go to the dollar store and pick up any book you have. I've shown my books a thousand times. I go. They are usually religious books or get the cat hair off or how to save your marriage books or... I mean, there are many, many books. I don't care what the books are and what they say. I just like to, um, and I'm going to rip these anyway. Um, rip. I just like the pages from it. So you can definitely uh, go to the library. Our library will sell um, books after a while. And they're like old books, so you get like the great old pages. But for this right now, it's sitting here, and this is what I'm done. Now, I'm going to check for... What's up with Tim? Oh, I talked about him last show. Let's just say I don't enjoy Tim. Now, I just, uh, it, to put it in a nutshell, and I'm not going to go crazy again like I did when I talked about Tim and the dramatics. I could, because I like being dramatic, and I am dramatic. We all know me. However, I had bought the crackle paint from him uh, quite a few years ago, and when I got home, I mean, I bought, like, when Kelly buys and wants something, I, unfortunately, again, the whore, I buy it. And I buy a few, quite a few. And I bought quite a few of his crackle paints. And um, got home and all but one was dried out. Now, if you get, you see me doing the things. If you get, and I don't care if it tears, but you can just push out with a card an old credit card or a brayer. There's another piece of cat. My cat's were having a blast up here. Um, you know, you could push it out. Bubbles don't really bother me. Anyway, so I wrote him and in two different places, heard nothing, and then I wrote Ranger, 
heard nothing and um i thought what a shitty way to t treat your customers as you're all over the place i'm tim holtz i'm tim holtz now embarrassing and as hypocritical as this is and i've told everybody this before I still buy a few of his things. I'm not going to lie. What I can make on my own, and if you watch, if you went back on my, um, I like this side better. If you go back on my videos, you will see I've made a lot of things on my own. So I do not have to p give him money. However, some things I've not figured out yet. But I will. And I do it for all of us. I do it so we don't have to go out and spend, um, a lot of money on products now let me tell you this i'm using this gel medium okay and i'm going to look up at the chat in a minute because i can i can't walk and talk at the same time let alone glue let's just face it we all know me and um you guys would be clapping and saying what happened her pain meds really made her like superhero-ish no it's not the pain meds just can't do it um so I'll recheck the chat in a moment. If you don't have gel medium, gel, gel medium, right? This is what I'm using. Golden gel medium, regular gel, matte. Um, I also have a Liquitex one. I bought these years ago. Look at it. All this is hard on the side. It's old. So I'm trying to use it all. I'm not throwing it in your face because what I would normally be using is my white school glue, Elmer's, which is another company I don't want to talk about. Um, but I would be using my Elmer's school glue, white school glue. You can get at the dollar store. And I would put a little bit of water in that. And um, I would put a little bit of water in that, uh, stir it up, and then get a nice, great consistency to do the same thing for this. School glue, um, I say Elmer's glue, but um, <clears throat> white school glue, okay? does a phenomenal job to not only glue things down as a gel medium or as a Mod Podge. I know a lot of people use Mod Podge, um, but it also is a great uh, thing to use for over also to seal it. Same way, just a little bit of water just, and it's just to thin it out so it goes a little easier because it is kind of thick. So it's very cheap. So you don't have to have gel medium. I am using it, like I said, because um, I need to get it. If I don't use it, it's going to go bad. And uh, I don't want it to go bad. So I'm going to lift these papers up. Set those there. I want this there. Now, you can rip these in half. You can do whatever you want to do. One, Yeah, I do, I do three to one. Yeah, that's what I do also. And it works like a charm. Well, this has extinct extinguished quenched having ceased being at the end no longer in existence have it died out extinction the act of putting out or quenching flame or fire i just learned a new word and what it meant and it's being glued down because i don't like all that on there it's not going to serve a purpose for me but yeah so you can definitely use white school glue um to seal and to do this i'm just using this um you know how I feel about people, as my thing's going everywhere, you know how I feel about people who use it and show all their golden stuff and throw it in your face. I think they're shit and I can't stand them. I think that's not fair to people who cannot afford it. At one time I was able to, I'm not able to now, and um, I just got to use up what I have. So it's not, you know, that's why I always say use your um, white school glue. Because a lot of people can't use it. No, we're not, I'm not doing the Elmer's rant again. Poor people. I'll never have them here again. Let's use let's something white. Let's use my tissue paper here. But no, I wanted to do something with that, so let's just wait. We'll do that later. What do I have? What do I have? I have some tissue paper that's brown that's wrinkled. As you can see, I didn't clean up from last show. <laughs> I've been doing other things meaning to clean up. I didn't. So that's why I keep kind of wetting my brush a little bit to have this kind of go a little further. Because it is very thick, and like I said, it is drying out. And I don't know. 
I mean, if I use it and then it, like the rest dries out, I won't be that upset. I just, I, I will say this about certain companies, Elmer's and Ranger and Tim Holtz, okay? I know people think, oh, Tim Holtz is so cute, he's so cute. I want to punch him straight in the face with all those rings he wears. I want to put them rings on and punch him straight in the face because I don't like writing to companies. There are some really great companies out there, and I don't like writing to companies and being ignored. I'm sorry. If I buy your Ida, if I buy your stuff, you stand behind your stuff. And if you don't stand behind your stuff, you better hope you never run into me, and especially in a dark alley. I don't know if he'll ever run into a dark alley. He'll walk into a dark alley. But if he did, I'm going to take his rings off and I'm going to show him. Yeah, that's true if you don't have anything nice to say. All right. I don't, you know, I've never bought, I get their magazine, their uh, Oriental magazine, Oriental trading magazine in the mail, or I did. And then maybe they stopped because they'll say this is your last issue unless you order thing. But um, I've never looked in there. Is that a good place? Like, should I be ordering from there? And giving prizes from there? Should I be doing that? But yeah, I mean, like, you know, I used to sell jewelry, a lot of jewelry. I used to make a lot of jewelry and sell it. And I've had one person, I th I've went through this before, but I had one person write me and say, oh, this happened, da, 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 da. And I said, okay, you can send it to me and I'll fix it or I'll just send you a new one. She said, send me a new one. I remade the whole piece, went and searched for what I used, bought it on me and sent it to her and then sent something extra with it. That's what real people should do. Like real people who are, um, or they should get on camera so you can see everything. It's not being very, I have a new camera. I have to get a, um, thing for it. Just give me a minute, please. Okay, maybe that'll work a little better. Uh, Oriental Trading Company does. You want to slap who? Tim Holtz with a shovel? Some of his products bite ears. I'm sorry, but I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna be a total hypocrite because that's just who I am. I'm well. I'm not a hypocrite, but um, I guess in this case I am. I always say that. Um, I do buy some of his products. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a mixed media artist. I'm an artist in general. I do art journaling. I do uh, paintings. You know, I do all kinds of stuff. So yeah. And uh, I do buy some of his things. Some of his things I don't. Some of his things have been gifted to me. They're not bad. I'm not going to complain. But, um, matter of fact, um, I have received as a gift a few bottles of um, his Crackle that now is out of business. I, they, they don't make it anymore. I, think, I mean, I think that he had enough complaints. You'd think that they would say, hey, everybody who bought it and, you know, spent, I mean, they're not cheap. And you go buy that stuff, you know, expecting to go home and have this phenomenal results. And then you come home and it's like, you know, but I'm going to put this here. So I, you know, but now it's not being sold anymore. I just don't get it. You ain't going to be on there. Get off there. Okay, so you get the point. I'm starting my back background on my mixed media. I can continue on and on. I wanted to show you those papers. I think I'm good with this. I'm going to scrape off the rest of that glue, put that in the water, put that away. Now, I'm going to give this a second to dry and read your stuff. They have distressed minis. My daughter bought me for um, Christmas all kinds of distressed paints for him. From him and I am thrilled. I mean, I'm I'm thrilled. I, I like them. I open up and use the paint that's inside. Some of the uh, things, you know, the little brush, the little spongy things on top, don't work well.
I, I will tell you something that I absolutely love. And if I find it, yeah. I love these. That's not it. <laughs> the Ranger Mini Misters. I think they come three in a pack. I love these. And if you get a chance to get these, get it. And this is why. When you spray them, they spray in a, I don't know if you can see, they spray like out and very fine. This has water in it, so it's not going to do anything. But they spray out and very fine. So I love those. I love those for using, you know, for inks and, and to make my own alcohol inks and everything like that. I, you know what? I started going through my email. I saw Blitzy had things. I'm waiting on an order from Blitzy to come to me. Um, I'm going to have to look. I look on Blitzy because I get their emails all the time. And I just, with my show and everything. You, what is the color box? I want those big brushes. I don't know what those are, the color box stylists. I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I have a million videos on white uh, school uh, Elmer's glue and um, crackling with paint. I do that constantly. But I love, I, I buy these all from the... Uh, Walmart or from my uh, drugstore, just regular water bottles, they work great for me too. So, you know, I don't know. Everybody has different, you know, experiences. So a few things I want to talk about as we're doing mixed media. A lot of people, um, ink dusters, is that what they are? You know, the frugal crafter has them big brushes and she goes like this on an ink pad and then does real gentle, like it makes like real gentle things. I don't know what they're called. I don't know where to get them. But like I said, I always make my own stuff. I make my own crackle. I make, I make all my own stuff. Now, this is almost dry. So... What I like to do next is take odd things that you wouldn't think of using as uh, to make different things on here, different layers, different paints. Um, you know, you can take, let's do, I'll do dark color. I'm going to rinse my brush off of the glue. Now, a lot of people at this point, what the heck did I drop? I'm just going to use regular purple. It is apple bear petunia purple because that apparently has been sitting here since last week. Not had a very good week, seven days, let's say that. And I'm going to put just some drops on the white because I want the white to become essentially a color. And it could be any color you want. Now, a lot of people when doing mixed media will cover everything um and i do too i will put um papers down so no canvas shows or i will do this and i will paint over everything i put on however i don't want everything covered on here so i'm just going to start and this bottom layer is going to become my gesso okay on my canvas does that make sense gesso does not have to be white now i have white gesso i have black gesso i have clear gesso wonderful things but what we're doing is putting a layer down and you can also wet your brush a little bit to make the paint go a little bit further, make it more of a watercolor paint. It'll stay, you know, wet a little longer, but this becomes essentially your gesso. So when people get upset that they don't have a gesso, remember your first layer down, and I always tell you, buy a cheap white paint. Um, the cheapest you can get because the cheaper the paint, the more chalk in it. The more chalk in it makes it more gesso -y, if that makes sense. Now, mind you, some of my paper isn't dry all the way, but do I care? No. But you can see. And I'm only going over some of the paper. I don't want it all to be purple. 
We're just going to add it. Because I, I hate when people get upset, like, I don't have gesso. And I've showed how to make gesso. We have gesso. A lot of us have gesso everywhere that we've shown on old live shows that I used to do years ago. Um, on I showed how to make fiber paste and uh, molding paste on a few videos back, maybe a month or two back. I want it a little darker here. I'm just reading. Yeah, I've looked at the, I've looked at, um, wait, let me see here. I'll sh Tiff, if you go on my videos, there's a million. You take, you take a color of acrylic paint that you want, you paint it on a piece of paper or a canvas, right? Let it dry. Then what you do is you take your Elmer's school glue or whatever school glue you get, you can get it at the dollar store, whatever you have. And you want to kind of um, pretend like this is the school glue, this is what you're using. You're just gonna squeeze a lot of it just going in a line across, right? Where you want your crackle to be. And then you want to take the biggest brush that you have. You don't want to go back and forth like you're painting. You want to take it and you want to pull it down and go up and pull it down and pull it down and make these brush strokes in it, right? While it's wet, pick your next color that you want. Um, let's say orange. Then put orange on just like you did your Elmer's glue while it's wet and pull down and pull down. Don't go over it. Don't go like this. Don't go, the bigger the brush, the bigger the strokes, the better. And then leave it dry. You can hit it with your heat gun or your hair dryer. Just don't put your heat gun too close and leave it dry. You know, and if you're excited, I get, I get too excited and too like, I don't have time to sit and wait for glue to dry. And I, you know, it's like watching paint dry. So I will um, take my heat gun far away and start, you know, drawing it like back and forth like this. And then you'll start to see the cracks come. And that's about it. You want me to do teal next? All right, let me get my, my purple going. Oh, I put some purple down here. I forgot. He's just hanging here saying, Kelly. 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 Why are you leaving me but to dry? Ha, ha, ha. Okay. Okay, so let's leave that dry for a momento. I'm going to take my trusty old paper towel, or if you have rags like I have sitting over there piled with things. Now, mind you, some of these papers are still wet because I didn't wait, but in Kelly's life and world, Kelly doesn't wait. Kelly waits for no one. <laughs> but because I have water on it, you can see if you rub hard, and you can even add a little spritz of water on your paper and wipe and it'll take that purple off you know and if you wet it more and rub it more it also takes the purple off there but okay it wasn't dry um we'll just look at that as a happy accident thank you bob ross for that happy accident okay so we'll give that a second to dry i'm going to read the chat oh my god i'm so late okay all right let me see if I can find me some teal. Okay, that's patina. That's not gonna work. You know I'm colorblind, people. This could be teal. Aqua? Aqua will work. I don't know. That's... Otherwise, I gotta get on my hands and knees down there and and they get on my hands and knees for one thing, people. When I need new craft supplies. Okay. All right, let me read here. What works with crushed glass? Crushed mirror glass. What do you do with it? Yep, it's something I saw in the candle section, but I think all my candles look nice. And I think it's a case. 
Oh, you can just mix your crushed glass into white school glue or your glue medium or Mod Podge or whatever you use as your glue. It could be clear tacky glue for and mix it in. I love Bitty Boop. Yeah, you can mix in with every, whatever you want. Even Elmer's school, that white school glue works. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I got some teal, and I just want to show you guys a few things. Um, I have, uh, which I did, I'm not going to put down here because I'm going to use for something else. But I have, Alan has showed us how to use napkins. So imagine, you know, taking a couple of your napkins that you have and placing them in different things. This has four different uh, pictures of the same thing. So you can cut these and use them in different parts. Napkins are fantastic to use and you get this fun, well, I'm not gonna spend all day getting it apart, but you get a fun background on it too. And if you can see on this background, it's textured. So when you get these two pieces apart, how much fun is that? There's a textured piece. So that's a fun thing to use. Always look at your dollar store because they have tons. Look at your uh, party store. They're fantastic. Hi, Catherine. Oh, I have a guest. Two guests. Hello, two guests. Please sign in so I know who you are so I can talk to you. I'd appreciate it, please. I do have a Ross. I have so much Betty Boop stuff. You don't have to take the back off. You can use it without. I just like, I'm a hoarder apparently, and I like to take the backs off and use them also in the same piece. So you get like that whole thing. Okay. Um, let me move on. Now, something fun, and I'm, I'm adding this to my giveaway, not these ones specific because I'll be using these ones, but... I'm adding these to my giveaway, and these are a lot of fun, and I didn't pick up my thing. However, these are foam things, okay? I got these as a gift, and um, I got m tons of them, so I thought, okay, I'm going to use some, I'm going to keep some, and I'm going to give some in a giveaway. These are fun because you lay these down. I just had an old rat song in my head from the 80s. Mm. All right, so I'm just going to lay these down. Some have stickies on the end, back. I don't care. These are just going to be, look how fun this one is. You can get these, like I said, at the dollar store. You can get these at your craft store. They're very inexpensive. You can use a coupon on them. Look how cute. And I'm just going to show you. That one will hang off a little bit. I got bunny rabbit. Who doesn't love a bunny rabbit? The whole point is texture. It doesn't matter what you have. This is to show that you don't have to have expensive stuff to, um, to, to make great art. This is going to be my second layer with a piece of cat hair on it. I just took it off. I don't know. I've got a bull. And I think that might be a bird. And a boat. I know somebody who likes to sail on a boat. Oh, I do. And I bet you her name is Nikki. Okay, so let me go grab my spray, which I can I totally forgot, and I don't know how or why. Okay. Now I've shown a million ways how to make your own sprays with food coloring, with acrylic paint, with watercolor paint, with a million things. So if you have any questions, eh, okay, it's just heavy. That's all. I'm not constipated. Sorry. So if you have any questions, ask me because I shall help you. Let me find some nice colors. Okay. Um, I will, you know, I will help you. I will help you make your own. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. If you split it, will it melt in background? 
If you break a mirror on purpose, does that mean seven years? Of... I don't. You know what, Alan? I don't break mirrors on purpose or otherwise because even if it accidentally breaks, I freak out. I'm I'm like running around doing like holding my nose, standing on one foot, right hand up, holding a dead banana, doing things. So I don't know. Uh, uh, I have a doily here we're going to be doing next, so you shall see. Matter of fact, you know what I'll do? I'll take some of these off and put my doily over here so then I don't have to waste all your time doing what I was going to do because you'll still get the point. How's that one? I think it's good. But I like that heart. Let's take the bee away. Okay. This also I got as a R.A.K., and I asked her what it was and she told me, and of course I forgot. To me, it looks like a bottom of a, um, like some sort of strainer or something. But Rose um, gave it to me. And I don't, I can't recall what it is. But anyway, you can use something like this. Go to the dollar store, look at things, and look at them differently. I mean, look, you can get this and get a great thing. We'll put that up there. All right. And then here comes the dun, 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 duele. And what we'll do is we'll do most of the doily because it's sticking up there and that's not going to make me happy. I'll put that little boat right there for my girl, Nikki, who likes to do crafts and her. And she floats. She's a floater. All right, so we kind of got the idea going on here. You can use a paper doily that you can get at any store. You can use these foam things that you could get at the dollar store, or you can get in big packages with a coupon at your art and craft store. You can make your own inks. I'm going to use, this is called Vibrant Turquoise, and I'm going to vibrantly give this a spray and see what happens. All right. Now, you know what I say. Once you spray it, take it and put it on another piece of paper. I don't have another piece of paper. I wasn't prepared. Oh, my goodness. Why am I not prepared? Let's just see the look we'll get. I hate, I, 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 I always yell at you guys. Make sure you're prepared so you can take that off and put it somewhere. Let's see. Whoops, moved it. Nothing came up. Okay. That's because the paper soaked it up. But look at that delicious, and I will bring it closer. Look how awesome. And now I have a, a teal doily, but I will continue to use this with different colors. All right? Something else. Go to the art store, the craft store, the dollar store, and get a piece of plastic cross-stitch thing. It's big. I have so much of this stuff. And you can spray in it. So let's see what this did. All right, hands. Now look how cool that looks. That is awesome. You see this? You don't want to waste this. I'm going to put it on this piece of paper that didn't work before. Push it down. And then look what you get. When you have your extra paper sitting aside, like I should, that I yell at you guys to always do, now you have the opposite of it, and you have the start of a new piece of paper, and your ink doesn't go to waste. Kelly's will because she's didn't prepare herself correctly. Okay. Now, this is the turquoise side. Now, like I said, these fun little things. How fun. Let's pick an orange. <laughs> no, let's pick a purple because it's going to have to be a darker purple than that. Well, this apparently is not open. Don't know why. <sighs> I have a few doilies. I'm doing a giveaway with one. It's called mesh. I don't know. I just call it like the thing with line, like with squares in it, really. But we'll have another guest. If you're a guest here, sign in, please. I love seeing who you are. Go up to the chat. If you're not, if you don't get into the chat because you're not signed in, all you have to do is go to the ustream.tv. Sign up your account. It takes a minute. Go to your email. Confirm it. And then come in and follow me. Knitting and things. All one word. And have fun. 
So please, guests, do that so we can talk with you. Okay, so since I want to show you other things, now I'm just going to squirt this down, these down here, and it kind of blew that little star away. But I wanted that little star. Little star, little star. Yeah, it's going to blow a little star away. Okay. Now you can always take a piece of, ooh, that one smell. Um, you can always take a piece of, like a little piece of like tape or like re removable tape and stuff to tape little things down like the star who didn't want to stay. He was the star who didn't stay. But look, look how fun. And I will bring these up to show, I don't have a piece of paper to, oh, I'm so, I'm so disappointed in myself today. But look, I stamped it, what was left over, and look at that. Look what a great background I could be making right now. I'll probably have to do this and then tear it, but you got the cloud. Okay, I'm moving. I'm taking off the little horse and the flower. Look at the flower! All right, we're making this back piece. I'm going to have to rip it off and glue it because it's really making great great pieces for me now delusions i'm using delusions which i love delusions but this is what happens and they're not permanent now i could spray a fix it over them wonderful life's great so i'm not going to do these ones now although i do want a star and i do want that one let me just scoot these down here okay so i do another color so let's set these aside and i really like this one okay oh i got some here it blended in Oh, how cute! Now I could take it over here and go like this. Also, lift it up, and I have that piece over there. So it's very fun. Now, let's say, let us use this, which it's called a million things. And then I'm going to talk about one more thing. I'm keeping you guys, oh my gosh, I'm so late. I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. All right. This is called post box red, post box red. And I'm gonna just give a squirt. Those little hearts, I mean, those little stars just kind of fly away. Fly away, little stars, fly away. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this, take it to the edge, take it over here, push it down, see if we can get any extra ink off. Instead of this, it goes on my hands, it's okay. But it did go a little bit. That's good. That's good. I'll just lay it on there and hope that I can push it off. And then we have this. And we have our stars. How exciting. I'm going to put a little star right there. Push that star down. It's kind of a smushed star look, but I'm okay. And then I'm just going to push this flower down here to get some of that red off into the purple. And over here because I just want to. There. Okay, so. Okay, what are we doing? Dr. Martin's, we're doing, I'm doing a Dr. Martin's video on YouTube because I've never used them before and there's things I want to show and I don't, not everybody has them or likes them, so it's that way it'll be optional for whoever wants to watch the video. Because some people don't have them or want them and aren't interested in them. And I don't want to do a, sh like I try to do a show on things that like a lot of people want. Not that you want this, but you know what, I, I'm going to blow dry real quick. But you know what I mean? Like where it's more of an accessible thing. Oh, I just blew something off on me. I don't know exactly what that was, but it's okay. I understand. I know you guys are torturing me over the Doc Martens. Torturing, I say. No, I am going to do a video on it. I really want to get my desk cleaned off because there's a few things I want to do about it, do with them. But I promise I will. And then I'll start using them in my live shows. I just, I already kind of planned out what I'm going to do with them. Can you hear me over my dryer? Do I need to talk louder like this? 
kind of a joke because everybody makes fun that I talk loud. Now, if you hold this like over like this, apparently not there. If I hold it right here, sometimes it bubbles, but it's not bubbling for me today. I must not have enough glue. All right. Okay. Enough of that. All right. Let me read real quick. Mitzi, hello. Hello, Mitzi, wa hello, Mitzi, wa hello, Mitzi, wa hello. I have 25 people. I am freaking out. You all rock. You hear me? Michelle, could you never not hear me? Okay, let me pick this up before I go on to my next quick thing. And then I shall let you go out of complete boredom. I'm sure you guys are probably like, <laughs> um, brain cells are dying. Can you see how cool the the um, doily is? Look at that, how cool. How freaking cool. Yeah, exactly. You can, with the Speedball inks, you can use, um, I have the Liquitex inks, which I love. Um, food coloring does just as well. If you add a little bit of... Um, glue in with it. It could be white school glue. It could be Mod Podge. It could be um, whatever. It's just a binder. So if you squirt a little bit of that in, like a drop or two of the glue in and your food coloring or your water coloring, if you have watercolor tubes into your um, bottle and shake it up, you're good to go. You can use, I suggest food coloring because it won't, it won't dry and jam. This is this side. Look how cool that thing is. Ooh, that's going, a piece of that's going in the giveaway too. So I'm just kind of showing you, you know, that you can go buy very a very cheap bag of all those different cool things and you can just get this great te text blah, 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 texture. <laughs> okay, now, one of the other things I want to show you that I think is important. You can get a lot of these at the dollar store. You can get these at the um craft store and you can use a coupon with them okay now i highly suggest you buy a bag of these now i'm giving away this handful all right where you'll get a bee a butterfly a dragonfly a little bull he says hello little bull a little butter uh what's that a ladybug a little bird hello little bird hello hello where, where? A little rabbit. He doesn't really make a noise. He just goes hop, hop, hop. I don't exactly know what that is. That could be a goat. He could give you milk, but he has no udders on there. And a heart. Okay. So these are going in the giveaway also. Okay. And you're also getting. You're also going to get one of these. And if you watch me carefully, you're not getting the one I used, obviously. You can pull the one apart and have two. I'm just saying, okay? So I'll show you everything at the end. However, going back, what was I doing? I was doing, oh, here we go. So you see, I have these, these cutters, right? They're different sizes. Michelle, that's all I'll say. And I'm gonna just show you something very quickly. I'm not gonna bore you anymore. These are very cheap. They're, pe they're foam pieces and they're very thin and they're cheaper. I buy the more, ex the, not more expensive, what the hell am I saying? I buy the thicker, thicker ones to do my die cuts when I do giveaways with. Now, these are made like these. So there's several things you can do. Number one, if you have any kind of these kind of, uh, what are these called? <laughs> cutters. Oh, thank you, Catherine. What's a, what are we co-oping? What's a kiwi pen? I can't see. This is what's problem. Oh my God. I drank too much water and I'm just burping. Listen. All right. Let me do my thing and then I'll tell you what I'm interested in. So watch, look how fun, because this is like wicked thin. Look how thin, thin. And I'm sticking it in. <laughs> That's what she said. I'm sorry. I had to. I'm sticking it in. I'm giving it a push. I'm going to open it up. 
I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it out. I am. Come on, hands. Don't do this to me. You piece of crud. Yeah, that's right. All right. Anyway, did not work as well as I chose to. It worked last night, but hey, why are you doing this to me? Maybe it is too thin, but it worked last night. It's too small. One. That wasn't a great thing. You could do this with paper too. All right, and it comes through. Yeah. All right, you see? So now you have a piece of your own. So whatever, okay, you know what? My hands are bothering me and I'm not in the mood. I'm not in the mood. I'll tear you, tear you apart. Did you see how nice? And you get a nice flower, okay? I don't know why the big one's being a bitch. It's just being a bitch today, all right? Now I'm gonna put in this little one, which is the cheaper one because it's small. I need to open it first. This one's from EK Success. Let's see how successful it shall be. I'm putting it on. I'm, look, a, it's a gem. It's a gem. And now you have a baby one and you put here. So say like we have our clean, our clear flower here that we did. We could put that right there. We could put this, I don't know. I don't know. We won't put that anywhere because I don't want to put that anywhere. But I'm going to try this bigger one again. I only grabbed these three. I have quite a few, but I thought, oh, these are really cool. This worked last night, and I'm not liking that it's not working today. Come on. Come on. Cut it. I know a lot of it has to do with the pressure with my hands. The rest of them worked and fell right out. This one's just being a jerk today. I think it got its period like somebody else. So we'll just pretend like we're not using this one. Anyway, this also works great on <laughs> only me. Why only me? I'm making my daughter something, but anyway. This also works great on, and you can use paper for this too, any kind of paper you have, and it works like a charm. There you go. And then if you use, let's say you use a piece of cardstock, which I should have grabbed, but I didn't. Now I have this as my stencil, and I have this as my, as my, uh, what's it called? Punch, you know what I'm saying. So I can do both. We'll leave that there. What color did I not use yet? Orange. Let's use orange. This is called Sweetened Orange. I have other brands of sprays. I just grabbed this one. I'm just going to give... Oh, that one sprays like shit. That one needs to be put down. Okay. So I'll remove this, and you see there's a little white thing in the middle there. And then I could bring it over here and push it down if I want. I promise not to touch anything in the giveaway before I dry my hands. Because I lose... Now see, look how awesome. That's out of a piece of paper, and now I can use that on another piece, which we will save there because I save everything. Okay, enough with this. You get the point. Um, you can use anything. You can also, if you want to use this as a stamp, you can put on a, um, a little bit of glue. You can put it like on the cap. This is a new one, I guess. But if I put a little bit of glue on the cap and not, oh my God. Oh my god, my hands are like, girl, you need to stop. All right, and then put that on there, and you can put that in your stamp pad. Oh my god, I got pieces of stuff everywhere. I'm a hot mess. Then you can put it in your stamp pad, right? In your stamp pad, if your stamp pad, well, this is my dryer stamp pad. All right, let's ink up, please. And then... You can go stamp. Well, I hate to ruin that, but we'll stamp there. Can you see? And we'll stamp here. And we'll stamp here. And we'll stamp here. And the black gets less and less, obviously, as we stamp. It's a great way to use these pieces. And then you just take it off. And you could save it, you know, you save it for later. And then you just take your little tissue and you wipe that off. And you can use it 
to stamp on your things, and it's a wonderful stamp maker. That's Kelly's tip of the day. Now, Cynthia McCoy, hello! Hello to everybody I haven't even seen. Lillian's art, I haven't seen. I haven't seen a lot of people. I have 27 people. 27 people. 27 people. 27 people. 27 people. I'm dancing. You can't see it. Okay. I'm going to throw this piece away. You should see my floor over here. I'm like pitching everything. Now, last thing I want to tell you is this. <laughs> what a mess. But I have a nice little stencil there. If you don't, you know, if you don't have punches and you don't have whatever, you can definitely just fold these into half, you know, or even more than half, but I'm folding half because I'm doing two things, except this little thing can get out of my way, and so can that. And I love these scissors, by the way. They're just little sharp scissors. Because sometimes using those big scissors for me hurt, and then I get tired, I get fatigued. So if you take your scissors, whatever scissors you have, and you just cut sorry because my hands but you cut a heart and you have that and then you have a stencil for your you know you have a stencil and you have a stamp and you can also do I don't know if I have enough room on here but you can do any shape you want really yeah, this isn't going to be enough, but you'll get the point. Oh my God, can't believe it's okay. And then this can kind of be a butterfly, and then you could cut out his little, his little wings. You know what I mean? Or do whatever. You can just make funky things. Now with these, I would, I would fold like this, and then like fold. Do you know what I mean? So you get more out of it. But. Think of all the fun things that you can cut out, just like funny shapes, which is probably all I can do. You can draw on it and then cut out so you have like, you know what I mean? Like different things. And you can cut out your big piece. Now you have a stencil here. Like look how cool it was like to put that in, you know, to spray to get texture. Because that's what you spray for is texture. And then you have this and you're like, eh. you could fold it back up and then you can go in and then just kind of cut a little bit more out. And then I don't know what we have there, but look how cool. So you can use these thin, these thin ones for so many things. And just keep kind of, you know, you just want to keep a little folded part so it doesn't all fall apart like I do sometimes. I forget. So, you see what I'm saying? See you later, Annie. So, you see, just, you could do this with cardstock. You could do this with these very inexpensive thin um, foam things you can do whatever like I said if you don't like this that comes up cut little areas out I can't believe I, tw I have 27 people that's awesome you know because the point is is that you're just like I put a heart in there you're just doing little you know so you can do okay you know you know what I'm talking about I'm gonna put the camera up because I'm done Give it, I've tried my best. I'm going to put it up. Good God, do we need to see this face? I had my hair like this. I thought it would be funny, like, to look like I had, like, a toupee on. How do you like that? Yeah, that's right. That's how I'm going to finish the show. How do you like it? Those blocks at, that you can get that are really, okay. That, you, that are blocked, what you can do with them is you heat them up with your hair dryer if you don't have a heat gun or heat them up with your heat gun and push them on something. Like push them on a piece of jewelry like, that you like or a rock or uh, something textured and then use that. 
uh, as a, and then you can use that, you know, put your paint on it or your stamp pad and use that as a stamp. Oh my God, I'm not even on the camera. And then when you're done with that, you heat it up and it goes normal again, and then you can use it for something else. So those are great. Buy them. Looks like a cat on my head. <laughs> or a cat that I cut out. I don't know. Thank you. I realized the camera was uh, too up. Yeah. Okay. All right. So this is, and I don't know what way I'll use it because I'm using this as a background for a painting I'm going to sell, but this is my background. I shall start back here. See it? That's my full background. That is mixed media. Mixed media can be a very simple thing like my goddess where it, you know what I mean? You want a very, I don't want to say clean, but you want a very basic background where just a little bit of mixed media is in it, but you want the main picture to be the main focus, or it can be something as simple as this, where I used all things that we can get around the house. Now, old book, like books, like I said, you can go... You know, I've, I've went to the Barnes & Noble, which is my favorite place that me and my family goes to, that and thrift stores. Um, they have, like, a discount section. You can buy books there. This is um, 12 by 16, flat. I like where I have so many regular canvases, um, but to work on a, a canvas, on the like, on a show with y'all... I like to work on my easel instead. It's just easier because um, using that kind of canvas for me, because it has that elasticity because there's no backing, it's easier for me to use the flat ones. Um, so I use the flat ones a lot. Bye, Alan. Thank you for coming. Thank you. So I'm going to close the show. Do you have guys have any questions? Yeah, Alan's awesome. Let me know if you guys have any questions before I close up. I always try to share videos when I see them. Sometimes I see them too late and they're like four videos back. I love Alan, so I try to, uh, you know, share his videos. He started out, uh, I'm sure you all know his story if you've read his blog or whatever. Did you guys learn anything? That's what I want to know. thank everybody for coming here. I can't believe I had 27 people and I had a guest come in and out. Um, I'm so blessed. You guys are so awesome. Um, uh, I have a giveaway if you guys want to hang around for the giveaway. <laughs> no, it was Tuesday morning was in not amazing. It was out towards Morristown. All right, I want to get I want to give stuff away. So, do you guys want to hang out while I give give away my gift, give away a product, 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 uh, gifts, man? All right. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to send. A handful of these aren't used a handful of these foam things because I think these are awesome I think we all can use them if you want to add them in your art you can but I think they're great to add texture as you see I showed you many ways to do it um, I'm gonna send um, I'm getting there, I'm getting there I'm going to send 
some of these Tim Holtz papers, right? Put them in a pile here so I, because you know my brain. I'm going to send a piece of the foam that y'all can cut out and do whatever you want with. And I'm going to um, send, once the win once I find out the winner, you tell me your colors that you want, and I'm going to send um, a few sheets of scrapbook paper. Um, so y'all get like a little bit of what I did today. I'm all, oh, I'm also going to send um, a doily, and I'm going to send a piece of this. Okay? A doily and a piece of this. So, um, once the winner is chosen, then you let me know. You email me your uh, address and let me know if there's a color scheme that you like or you're up, you're up to anything as far as scrapbook paper. So, let me go and see. I know a lot of people left, but I did mention that I was doing a giveaway and I know people, I know people can't stay long. So, oh, yucky, what? Thank you, Tracy. I'm blurry, Marilyn. Really? You sure it's just not my beauty coming through like that, baby? All right. Let me count how many is in here. I know a lot of people are leaving and all that, but I didn't. I did announce. Tell me that I announced in the beginning I was doing a giveaway. Did I? Because I think I did. Okay, let me go. It says I have 22 people in here. So let me go to random.org. Yes, you have to look at the side of my ugly face. I know. Don't be complaining. Don't complain. Random. And let me just double check how many people's in here because I want to make sure that people are in here that... Because I know, like, Tracy said goodbye, so does that mean she's still in here or no? All right. It says 23 people. I can't believe we got up to 70, uh, 20, uh, whatever. All right. So that means number 20, which would be 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, shoot. Wait. Catherine's in here. Catherine's in here twice, so i got to skip Countner. Of the problems, the issues. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Winter prism. Winter prism, which is Kate, correct? Win a prism, win a prism. Are you in here? Are you in here? Let me know. Let me know. Win a prism. Laura Kate, yep. I knew there was a Kate in there. I was close. All right, Trace, I counted you, babe. I did. I counted you in because I figured if your name's still here, you must be here. But, so, okay, you know me, girl, Laura. You know me. We've talked. Hit me up with your address. Let me know you're getting those, and let me know if you um, if you have a color scheme that you want, or if it just doesn't matter to you. And um, I want to thank everybody. If uh, you guys want to hang out a little bit and we'll BS for a few minutes, that's cool. I want to thank everybody. I want to remind everybody Annie will be live Thursday night, 9 p.m. Eastern, on her channel, Corner of the Bedroom Studios, and then next Monday. I'll be live at night, 9 p.m. Eastern. It's Kelly after dark. I hope to see you there. And thank you all for came, who came today. I had really high numbers, and you all rock. And I love doing giveaways and stuff. And I hope you enjoyed the show. If you ever have questions, just ask me. And keep sending me um, suggestions on what you want to see and what you want me to do on my live shows. And...
Peace out. And always remember, be kind to each other because you never know what fat battle somebody else is fighting. And I'll check you out next Monday night, 9 p.m. Eastern. Don't forget about Annie this Thursday at 9. Bye, guys.